The heron is the eyes and ears of the ground forces. Uh, the biggest killer in Afghanistan for our troops is uh, IEDs. Uh, it's very uh, insidious, it's very difficult to detect, and uh, this is where the Aaron comes into play. We provide a very significant uh, contribution to the overall counter IED uh, resolution. Uh, we are able to see uh, the actions of the insurgents in fabricating, distributing, and activating the IEDs. So if we can break that chain, then we help our, uh, our uh, troops being more safe. I think the key for our operation is the integration with the battle group and the land forces that we're working with. Um, the uh, ability of, of uh, our unit to distribute our data and be able to communicate in real time with our customers uh, allows us to really disseminate that information and that's what makes it so effective and so uh, sought after. The information from the Heron gets to us uh, in a number of ways. Uh, each lab is equipped with a uh, rover system, which is basically uh, a receiver that can take the uh, signals from the Heron and uh, actually provides a live feed that we can watch on the laptop in the back of the lab itself. So using that feed, it gives us a better idea, situational awareness of what's going on, where friendly troops are and where the enemy is in relation to those friendly troops. The Heron feed is one of the best, if not the best, uh, feed that we can have. Troops on the ground definitely feel a lot safer knowing that they have something overhead uh, providing that overwatch for them. To be able to have a platform that can take a look out, uh, look behind these walls, uh, see what's moving around on the battle space, gives them that uh, warm and fuzzy that uh, they know what's going on. The Heron definitely has played a major role in uh, the el elimination of IEDs in this AO. We have finite troops in the area, we can't keep eyes on everything. So by being able to have a bird in the sky that can search all those routes that are in uh, lesser traveled areas, uh, that's how we find the majority of these emplacers. Uh, even though we don't actually have troops on the ground, then we can exploit uh, after we find them. We have saved uh, uh, Canadian lives and, uh, and the coalition forces lives in the past, and uh, we will definitely do that in the future as well.